007 Commanders, welcome back. Today we are going to go over high predictions, specifically the aggressive ones. With the war raging on in Elite Dangerous, aggressive high predictions have become kind of the norm around the galaxy, especially around the bubble. Aggressive high predictions started coming around. The system hit 22460 and then emulating out around a 50 light year bubble from that system. Now with the maelstroms encroaching in on the bubble and human occupied space, aggressive high predictions are becoming, well, the new norm in the player experience of Elite Dangerous. We're going to demonstrate how to avoid or get out of said situation in none other than the basic Sidewinder with no uh, fancy modules, no nothing. The only thing on here is some heat sinks and a frame shift drive to get us to where we need to go. And also we're going to go over how to tell if you're getting high predicted. There's two ways that you can figure out and tell early on if you're getting high predicted so you can kind of prepare yourself for that. So once we jump here, we're going to go over those two methods. One of those is looking at your navigation panel to see if the destination system is accurate. If the destination system shows the system that you are currently in and not the destination system, then you are being high predicted. So if the system does not show Hades Sector, Foxtrot Bravo, November Bravo 7-2, we're being high predicted. Also, if you have head shake turned on, and it looks like you're gliding across a smooth lake, then you're being high predicted. Four, three, two, one, engage. As soon as you drop out of the witch space high prediction, then you want to throw a heat sink, make sure all power is into engines, make sure that Thargoid is on your six and start boosting away, spamming that boost button and getting as much distance between you and the Thargoid as possible. And you want to get that heat level as low as possible. Don't turn deployed. silent running on. Turning silent running on only hurts you. Flight it disables your shield and you want that shield on because it acts as a buffer even if your shield is weak. Deployed. Go nose hot to the Thargoid and boost right at the Thargoid. Thargoids are really slow to turn. They Warning. suck at shield it and it will allow you to get as attack. much distance Taking as you damage. can. Throw some lateral thrust and some downward thrust as well. You can put some more thrust Heat or some more deployed. distance on the Thargoid Shields that way as well. Offline. All while trying to go nose hot to that destination system as well. As soon as that FSD comes off cooldown, Friendship go high wake and try to start high waking out. High wakes are not affected by the mass lock. As soon as you start getting ready to charge up, Try to align that ship trajectory, keeping as much distance away from you and the Thargoid as possible, and get out of there, Commander. Ready to engage. You can escape a high Four, prediction even in the three, lowest two, grade of ships, one, that being the engage. Sidewinder. It can be a little bit tricky. It can be, but it's seriously not too bad. It's not an unavoidable death. As long as you got the skills and the know-how, you can avoid it. High waking is not bound by the mass lock factor, so... Throw that heat sink as soon as you come out of the witch space. Make sure you run as cold as possible. Get as much distance between you and the Thargoid as you can. And high wake out as there. High wake out of the instance as soon as that FSD comes off cooldown and you'll be a-okay. 07 commanders, appreciate every single one of you. Fly safe.